doing a bit of a run this morning. <laughs> Johnny, are you excited for the helix? helix, helix. 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 It's a big helix, helix. <laughs> we are on the first ever public train of Manual Maker. Bring back the bubble work. Come up rattlesnake. <laughs> Say to my friend. That's probably me done for the next 15 years. That was so rough. Go on, mystery castle. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on guys? Coasters with Mar channel, Oli Mar. Doing a bit of a run this morning. <laughs> Not used to this. We just got our reserve and ride spot for Mandrel Mayhem. We're going on in about 10 minutes. So we're running there first, seeing if we can go and uh, get on it ASAP. Two of us here, so we've gone twice. Mandrel Mayhem, public opening day, World of Jumanji. Really, really excited. It's the world's first today, B&M launch shuttle wing coaster. Probably butchered that, <laughs> but yeah, really, really looking forward to it. I better get back to running, <laughs> they're all beating me, but I'll let you know how it is after a ride. There it is in the distance, guys. Mandrill Mayhem. <laughs> got some live actors on. Oh, look, oh, they've got a bit of an opening ceremony, that should be fun. this loading oh my god there's such a buzz today it's like my first ever kind of opening day as an enthusiast even run into the ride ride and reserve done oh, i'm just really looking forward to this hey! <laughs> oh, the vibe here is off the chain guys We are thrilled to invite you in to experience the world of Jumanji and in just a few moments you'll get to go inside and enjoy three brand new rides Mamba Strike, Ostrich Stampede and of course the world's first Jumanji roller coaster, Mandrill Mayhem Woo! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one moment right now for the coasters with moi we are on the first ever public train of mandrill mayhem i'm so excited i'm beyond belief and uh yeah i don't know why i'm running not gonna get there any quicker <laughs> but all those people behind me maybe maybe i should run a bit <laughs> but yeah looking forward to this i don't know how it is when i get off Good coaster, bloody good. Three rides on Mandrill Mayhem. It was a bit of a chaotic start to the vlog, I'll give you that. <laughs> so sorry about that, my coaster is going a bit, ooh. So we were on the first public train, technically, of this day. We literally ran straight to the front. It was like, it was mega, the vibe was insane. It was just really, really cool. It was my first ever open day as an enthusiast and I was just really in shock. The coaster itself, it's amazing. It's an amazing fit for this park. The first ride we had on it, we were sort of towards the front but we're facing backwards, if that makes sense. Um, and it was very good. We're on the first train, so nothing too intense. It hadn't warmed up that well, 
but that backwards inversion, the first time you ever do something like that, it's my first ever time going backwards, upside down on a roller coaster. So that was something new. Uh, that was very good. We were able to get a second ride on it, which I was under the impression that it was only one ride per day. But we found a workaround, which I'll go into at another point. So we got on the second row and we were towards the back. Oh, you get some airtime as you go into the uh, into that initial spike, as you can see there, and then into the launches backwards. The launch is quite punchy, but it's nothing too intimidating. So it's not like a stealth launch. You go through that inversion, and then we went on a third time, and that was my favourite ride, sitting on the outside of the wing you get more hang time i think i appreciate that a lot more and then we've just done a technically front row back row ride where you're facing forward and it was a completely different experience because as you go up that spike it's almost as if you're going into an inversion coming back forward through that launch to then go into the uh i'll show you a bit of a layout there's a corkscrew there going back forward through that corkscrew the launch on that was really intense. All right, in now, I'm pretty sure. I kind of lost count. It's been a bit of a blur today, I won't lie. I uh, met Theme Park Worldwide, that was amazing. I was a bit giddy. <laughs> I always am, sort of like gracing the Theme Park YouTuber Walk of Fame. Uh, but yeah, very good for opening day. I was sort of a bit pensive because there was a lot of people at the entrance uh, and I didn't know whether we were going to get on or even get a slot and we got one straight away. We were fresh in whilst we were in the queue. Whilst we were in the queue, we managed to get another one and there's two of us here today. So we got two rides on it and then we got another two and we booked another two. So there's a bit of a loophole. So, and for a one train coaster, the ops have been amazing. Like they're sending them out and I guess that kind of helps with the uh, reserve and ride. I think if we were there on a weekend, it would be a lot worse. So it's probably good that they did the opening day on a Monday. So it's very smooth. And there was a guy called James, shout out James. Uh, he let us go back front row kind of thing. Really nice guy. And there's a guy on there. He must have had about 10 cups of coffee running around, bless him. We've got another two rides for an hour's time. Oh, look, here we go. <laughs> I haven't been at this park in 15 years. I'm really excited to see the rest of the park. Oh, look, we got the drums in the background. <laughs> It's a proper vibe today. Anyway, I'll update you once we've got to the next area. Yeah, thank you. Good coaster, amazing ops. It's good that they've uh, sort of worked out the issues that I thought they were gonna have. Overall, very impressed. Very impressed with the area. It's, it's just great for this park. That's all I can say, really. That's all I can say. It's a really hot day today, so we're gonna be checking out the log flume next. And I'm really excited about this. I went on it when it was, um, Dragon Falls years ago and it's now been rethemed to Tiger Rock. So I wonder what's changed, I wonder what hasn't and I've been wishing for a hot UK day at theme park and it's finally happened. I'm boiling so I'm ready for this log flume. I'm so excited. This is one of the main things that I was, apart from obviously world's first B&M launch shuttle wing coaster, I was also really excited about the log flume and uh, oh look at this statue. Massive. Nice to have a bit of a cool down. I won't lie, it is boiling. <laughs> it's not boiling, but it's warm. <laughs> Tiger Rock. That's good, isn't it? There's nothing on it. Come off Tiger Rock and it was really nice. It was really fun. It sort of brought back those kind of childhood memories of going on it from a while ago. And uh, you didn't get too soaked either. I got a little tip though, bring a rain jacket and put it over your bag. I mean, you don't get that way anyway, but I just, you know, you got stuff in my bag. I got my phone charger and like electrics and stuff. I even got my phone in there. Can we just appreciate sure I got my uh, World Did Jumanji inspired outfit today. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we're gonna do Vampire now. And we've got two more reserve slots in about 20 minutes. So for Mandrel Mayhem. So I'm looking forward to that. So we are. We're going on 13. So we just came off uh, Vampire and it was a bit too rough for me, I won't lie. But it was enjoyable, it was very good. It was I don't remember anything about it, so it's good to get back on it, really. And uh, the queue line's really good. Some of it's a bit dated, but it's very well themed as well. I love the little um, the guy playing the piano in the station. Get some good forces on the turnarounds. I sort of whack my head a bit, 
it's yeah, a bit too rough. We've got another reservation for Mandrew, <laughs> so let's get back on it. on the bubble work no bubble works not bubble works but we've been on the gruffalo <laughs> and uh i think honestly bring back bubble works is really sad we also went to guest services shouted out james batching on uh, mandrel mayhem he's done an amazing job recognized us every time we felt really really welcomed and uh it's always good to put in work good word about people who are doing good things really because obviously most of the time it's just complaints so um yeah make sure you do that next time you're at a park we're about to go on rattlesnake now i'm a bit uh a bit wary of this one because I remember it being quite rough. I remember coming off of it as a kid and like being really upset. I was like, oh my god, that was horrible, that was horrible. And I did the same with Ramus's Revenge, which isn't here anymore. But uh, yeah, I'll let you know my thoughts after the rock. The rattlesnake queue is really cool. Come off rattlesnake, I <laughs> said so to my friend. That's probably me done for the next 15 years. That was so rough. I like how compact that was, and I like the little pops of air time you get every now and then. Uh, but yeah, very shaky on the sides. Maura, wild mouse. Not much to say about that, apart from very painful. Oh. Hello. Yeah, so I've been back on Chapas. <laughs> Well, that was a bit anticlimactic. This is the first time all day it is having some downtime, but it's been super reliable for the entire day, which is really good. Uh, but yeah, this is my seventh seventh go now. Um, yeah, we've got back row, but the road that's not facing forwards. I wouldn't be disappointed, but the vibes today have been fantastic. And to get on this ride more than once, which is the only thing I thought, I thought I'd only be getting on it once, it's just been uh, amazing. Just patiently waiting now. To go on Mystery Castle, I'm really excited. <laughs> just kidding, crop drop. I haven't been on this one before, but I went on a Ramesses Revenge. Look forward to it. Just come off crop drop. It's a shame because it's, uh, it's not spinning today. I've never done it when it's spinning, but I've heard that it's good. Um, it's spinning. Good family drop tower though, it was quite, kind of remind me of Magma at Portland's Park but a lot more forceful and you had a little pre-show too which was uh, very good. You get that refreshing layer of smoke, it's what's needed on a hot day like this. Now we're going to do Tomb Blast, so we've only got an hour left of ride time, we've booked Mandrill twice more now and we go Tomb Blast a five minute wait, let you know how it is, a lot of nostalgia with this one, I used to love this as a kid. We've got two guns special here, we've gone on Tomb Blaster, it was really good but the the guns weren't really working for me and uh, it was such nostalgia because I used to love that ride as a kid and uh, it's held up well. Some of it's a bit dated but it's held up very well in most of the past, especially that massive scene where you've got the kind of Egyptian head. Um, kind of reminded me, you know, I've never been to like, you know, Universal and all that, but it kind of reminded me of like, it's like from one of those parks. Really enjoyed that. Uh, we've got two more reserve and rides left on Mandrill Mayhem. And we're gonna probably redeem those. I think we're gonna try and get on Cobra before we do. Uh, Dragon's Fury has been down all day, sadly, but then it's reopened now. So obviously there's like an hour queue for it. So I don't know if we'll be getting on that. If we do, we'll try and hop in right at the end of the day. I'm having a rawsome day here at uh, Chesington. Oh. So we went on Dragon's Fury, the most boring queue line I've ever been in. No theming at all, which is really sad, but it all made up for it because of the ride. It was actually very, very good. Better than Spinball, 100%. I want to say it's better than Winger's, maybe. Yeah, very good, we had so much spinning. And then when we got into the brake run, my eyes were just moving, 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 but not like in a, I feel sick kind of way, in like a fun way. Very long as well, quite janky in places, but yeah, very, very, very fun. I'm glad we did it, because I was a bit pensive about doing it. Very lucky today. We are now on the last ever, not ever, but last uh, public train of the day. Mandrill Mayhem. We were on the first this morning, and now we're on the last. Uh, what happened was it was five o'clock and our virtual, our last virtual queue got pushed back. So they originally didn't let us on, but then it was like, well, we got it, 
and it's been pushed back so you kind of have to let us on but he did us a solid and he let us on so I'm very happy about that. Oh, I'm excited to get back on it for the last day. It's going to be warmed up so nicely and I think I've picked my favourite seat now. I like the forward facing row for the launch going back and I like the back row where it's facing forwards for the just airtime and the spike. You get some amazing hang time and it always feels like an inversion on the spike. Ooh. Yeah, just great for Oh, and we are... Uh... And we went on that ridiculous flat ride, the over the shoulder restraints flat ride. Not good. Oh, painful. Really painful. I know it's not meant for someone like me, but yeah, very painful. This will be our last ride of the day, sadly, but we've done eight rides on here today. I'm pretty sure this is eight. Um, so yeah, very looking forward to the last ride. I'll let you know how it is. ride for the day on Mandrill Mayhem. I'm so glad we were able to get on. There was such a buzz in that station coming in. Everyone was clapping, cheering. The ride staff were clapping, cheering. You know, we just thank them for doing such a good job today. Eight rides. I didn't even think I'd get one, so it's been a, a hell of a day. Shout out to everyone who's made this possible. Yeah, all the ride ops, the ride hosts, John Burt and everyone who designed the ride. It's a fantastic ride and it's a great fit for this park. Probably cracked my top 20. I wasn't expecting it to do that, but you, you experience some amazing forces and every single ride you get is completely different. You, there's just no feeling like it. That buzz coming back into the station, everyone was cheering, last train of the day and first. Uh, yeah, there was no enough feeling like it's first ever opening day as an enthusiast and it's been fantastic. World of Jumanji is great. The only uh, criticisms I'd give, there's no toilets. You have to, actually have to come out of the area to then find a toilet. And then the whole ride and reserve thing, obviously if you're in a group of six, you can then have the chance to ride six times. Whereas today we had to like wait maybe an hour in between rides, which uh, I guess it's a bit of a flaw within their system. They'll probably sort that out. Some of the theming is a bit incoherent, but they'll probably work on that. And for what they've done, yeah, brilliant ride, brilliant B&M, it's just weird to have a B&M at Chesington and a World's First, so yeah, that's all I can say really. Adventure. Look at this wonderful view to end off the day. I forgot to record the outro, which is unlike me, but here we are. Probably after about 30 hours of no sleep, I think I got a bit delirious towards the end. Andrew Mayhem was amazing, uh, I'd definitely be going back to Chesington soon. We didn't get to explore the whole park because of... Uh, you know, we were there for opening day, but we managed to get on loads as well, so I was quite happy. I hadn't been to the park in about 15 years. I'm very impressed. I think Chesington need to update their other areas though, so the theming's a bit better to match the standard of the world of Jumanji because it is amazing in there. I love the ride, just some really good forces. It's so re-rideable. Every single seat's different, had a different experience on every single ride, which was amazing, every single seat. I preferred the outside seat in terms of the wing. I also preferred the back row but not the one facing the other way uh in terms of like forces and airtime especially going up that spike it feels like you're going full circle into that inversion so yeah we'll definitely be returning if you like this video please consider liking subscribing commenting coasters and moi is going to be popping off this year 2023 we are going to be doing some awesome trips coming soon i think the next trip we're going to be going to ghost train thought park i'm going to try and get there on opening day but i'm not sure depends on a few things but yeah, thank you for watching. Thank you so much. And yeah, this is me. Mwah.